finally some beautiful weather gonna be like 70 degrees today it's been raining the past like three days today we have the brand new total eclipse crave the crave comes in at six and a half five negative one one and today we're going to be comparing it with some cicadas so we have the first run and we have the test flight and the cicada actually comes in at seven six negative one one slightly faster slightly more glide and i'm very curious to see how these compare to each other. I've thrown a Crave before on the YouTube channel, and I'll be honest with you, it didn't go all that well. It was my fault, I just threw the disc very badly that day. Let's start out throwing some flat releases, maybe not full power, but close to. It goes dead straight. Baby fade. All right, I can live with that. I really did not throw that hard at all. Held a nice straight line. It almost looked like it wanted to start to turn a little bit, but it didn't. Now we have the first run cicada. Like I said, a little bit more speed, a little bit more glide, supposedly. Oh yeah. It might've had a little bit more turn in it, and it might be hard to tell on camera, but that was really, really straight, just like the Crave was. That was a beautiful flight. I really like that. It's really hard for me to tell, like, is the extra glide actually there? I mean, that seemed glidey, but again, sometimes between six and five or five and four, sometimes you really can't tell, in my opinion. Let's go with the test flight next. Try to get that same flight out of it. I put that on a little bit of hyzer and got the same flight out of it. So I've already thrown the test flight a few times. It's acting a lot more understable than the first run and the Crave. Let's see here. Crave one more time as flat as I can. Yeah, that is so neutral. Baby fade, like you would expect. So one thing I think is important to at least note, maybe we don't harp on it, but the cicada did go about 20 feet past the crave that time. What came up the shortest was the test flight, but that could be the extra speed, extra glide, maybe taking it that extra 20 feet of distance. But more than likely, I would say it's my power and how I threw the disc. But I just wanted to note it. We saw how this test flight popped up on hyzer. So we're gonna try to throw some hyzer flips, starting with the test flight, working to the crave. I can't believe how flippy that is. I like the fact that it flips up, but maybe uh, don't turn all the way over. So that gets the flat. That's better. That's a lot better. Gets the flat, holds it for not very long, has a nice fade. Kaiser flips will give you some pretty straight lines. Now, if you throw these with a little less power, you saw I could put it out flat and get a nice straight line. If you got some more power, throw these things on hyzer and watch it flip up. At least the cicadas will find out about the Crave right here. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Nice flip up out of it. Crave popping up flat, riding just slightly over on that right side, but then it has that nice fade. But right now it looks like we got a flippy test flight, a pretty neutral Crave, and a pretty neutral first run. Loving what I'm seeing out of this Crave so far. I feel like it's flying better than the previous Crave that I've thrown. I'm gonna try the good old Anheuser shot now. We do have a right to left wind, so I'm afraid it's just gonna push these down, but we're gonna try it out anyway. Oh, that's so low. All right, I went roller there. Land flat, yes it does what I expect out of a neutral flyer. Just ride that Anheuser, land relatively flat. The biggest thing is just don't overturn them, otherwise you're gonna get a roller like I did with the test flight. Yeah, almost identical. I haven't really been throwing full power and the reason for that is because I feel like I don't have to to get some really nice flights out of these to show you what those flight numbers are really supposed to be doing. The time has come. We're gonna go max distance shots, see how far these go. I'm gonna start out with what I think will be the worst one, and that's gonna be the test flight. This is probably the prettiest one though. I love the translucent. You just see that baby turn. 
I mean, honestly, that was pretty good. I threw that probably the best I could have. A little less hyzer with the first run. Come on, get out of it. Wow, with a little less hyzer, that flew very similar to the test flight. And now the icing on the cake, the Crave, which I don't think I mentioned, but I feel like this thing feels super shallow in the hand. Oh, it was too high. I never gave it a chance. All right, cut. This thing's been flying great. I can't disrespect it on a throw like that. There we go. So a little bit more power and all these are just turning over. So you can kind of see what happens when you throw a six and a half to a seven speed. Really hard, you get some nice turnovers. First run cicada, 314. Crave, 335. And I'm pretty sure I said the test flight was gonna be the worst, and this may have went the furthest. I guess there's a reason why I love understable discs. 350 feet with the test flight. I hope you guys saw everything you needed to see to go pick one of these up. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one.